Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make four silky smooth gaming subtitle animations in Premiere Pro. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So for the very first text animation, we're going to grab our text tool and we're just going to type a specific word. For me, I'm just going to use the word smooth. I'm just going to grab my selection tool and make this text a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to hold control and drag it right into the middle. We're going to go up to the effects panel and type in transform and just double click on that transform and just make sure it does go onto the text layer. We're going to go up to the effects control panel and scroll down to the transform layer. Check off this use composition and crank that shutter angle to 360. We're going to drag our blue tracer a little bit after that one second mark. We're going to click off this uniform scale and create a keyframe for the scale height, scale width, and rotation. Drag our blue tracer halfway between that second and then we're going to make the scale height 150, scale width to 111, and then we're going to change the rotation to 26. Drag your blue tracer to the very beginning of the animation and change the scale height to zero and the scale width to 62. And finally change that rotation to negative 91. I'm gonna go two keyframes to the right from the very beginning of the animation, select a keyframe for the opacity and we're gonna go one keyframe to the left and we're gonna crank that opacity down to zero. Select all the keyframes for the scale height, scale width and rotation, right click ease in and right click ease out. Now this part is a little bit difficult. We're just going to ease these keyframes a little more so we're going to open up these layers and what i'm going to do is drag my blue tracer a little bit forward from the first keyframe and i'm going to drag this first scale height keyframe all the way until this little dot is right in the middle scroll down to the scale width and i'm going to do the exact same and i'm also going to do this for the rotation so we are going to have to do this for all of the keyframes so just go ahead and drag your blue tracer to the other side of that second keyframe drag your blue tracer so these circles in the middle scroll down and do the scale width and then we're just going to keep doing this until so we have our smooth keyframes for the scale height, scale width, and rotation. All right, and once you're done, it should look something like this. Now, if you want to move this subtitle to the bottom or wherever, all we're going to have to do is right click on that text layer. We're going to nest and we're going to make a nest layer for that text layer. Select that nest layer and drag our position down from the 540 and just drag it down however you like. And I also make it a little bit smaller too. drag that down even further. And just like that, we've created our very first text animation. For our second animation, we're gonna start the exact same, grabbing our text tool and making a word. For now, I'm just gonna use the word smooth. Grab that text layer, hold control, and make sure it's in the middle. Then I'm gonna go up to the effects control panel, type in transform, and we're just gonna double click on that once again, making sure it's on the text layer. And I'm just gonna drag my blue tracer just after that one second mark by a little bit. I'm gonna go to the transform layer, check off the use composition, and crank that shutter angle to 360, and then create a keyframe for the scale. Scroll back with your blue tracer or about one quarter or so and then change the scale from 100 to 110. Drag that blue tracer to the very beginning of the animation and change that scale back down to zero. So I'm going to grab my blue tracer, drag it to that second keyframe on the scale, create a keyframe for the opacity, drag my blue tracer a little bit farther back and change that opacity from 100 to zero. We're going to play with the distance of these keyframes in a little bit but for now select all three of these scale keyframes, right click ease in, right click ease out and then open up that scale. I'm going to scroll in a bit and then like before I'm going to grab the first keyframe, drag it in a little bit, drag this side a little bit just to create a little mountain face. And then we're also going to do that for the second and third keyframes. So these opacity keyframes are not in the correct position so I'm going to select both of them and then just drag them a little bit closer to the beginning of the animation and just make them a little bit smaller. And then finally I'm just going to drag this third keyframe in a little bit more because I think it needs a little bit of a punch. And just like that we've created our second keyframe frame. For our third animation, just grab our text once again, create a word. I'm just gonna use smooth like I always do. I'm gonna grab the selection tool. I'm just gonna grab that text, hold control, and then I'm just gonna make sure it's right in the middle of my screen. Go up to the effects panel and type in transform and double click on that transform effect. Head up to the effects control panel and drag your blue tracer to that two second mark. We're gonna once again, check off that use composition and crank the shutter angle to 360. Once your blue tracer is on the two second mark, we're gonna create a keyframe on the position and change this 540 to 900. Drag your blue tracer to the one second mark and we're just going to reset this keyframe right here by reset parameter and drag your blue tracer to the very beginning of that animation and change that 540 to 900 once again. We're going to select all three of these keyframes, right click temporal E 
ease in, right click temporal ease out. We're gonna open up this position keyframe layer. I'm gonna click on the second keyframe and drag this back. And then I'm also gonna drag this one forward. So if you can see, you wanna follow this theme of easing. So once you're happy with that animation, drag your blue tracer to the very middle of that animation to the second keyframe. And then we're just gonna change the position on the vector motion. Make sure you're not changing it on the transform. And we're gonna drag this five forward to wherever you wanna see that text. So for me, I wanna see it appear right here. And if we play that animation back, you can see we have a beautiful text animation. Now we're actually gonna use this base animation for the fourth and final subtitle. However, we are gonna have to change one thing and that's just resetting the vector motion. So the only thing we change is the position so you can just reset the parameter right here and it's gonna reset that text layer to be right in the middle. So we're just gonna have this basic animation here and we're gonna scroll down to the rotation. Grab your blue tracer and drag it to the third keyframe. Make sure it matches up. You'll know when it matches up when this blue dot appears. So kind of just go back and forth with your keyframes going left and right with your arrow keys until you see that blue dot. That means you're matched up on it exactly. Once you're lined up with the position keyframe, we're gonna create a keyframe for the rotation. So just click on the rotation right here. We're gonna go to the middle keyframe, make sure it's matched up perfectly. And then we're gonna change the rotation to negative six and then drag your blue tracer to the very beginning of the animation and change that rotation to 40. Select all three of these keyframes, right click ease in, right click ease out. Like before, we're gonna open up this rotation keyframe. So we really wanna smooth these keyframes out in a way that looks good. So just select that second keyframe and drag both of these blue dots to their opposite sides. So for this one, I'm just gonna drag it all the way to the left. Make sure you're not going up and down because it will affect the animation. And then I'm gonna drag this keyframe all the way to the right. Like before, we're just gonna nest this layer. So just drag your blue tracer to the center or the second keyframe. We're gonna right click on the text layer and we're gonna create a nest and click okay. Select that nest layer and then just drag the position down. So drag the 540 down to where you want it. For me, I want it right there. And if we go ahead and play the animation back, you can see it looks very nice. If you found this video helpful in any way, consider subscribing because it's completely free. And if you want to learn how to create three more text animations, click the video on the right. That's everything for me, guys. Peace out.